What's the limit of x plus sine x over x plus cosine x as x goes to infinity? If you give it a little bit of thought, you'll probably arrive at the conclusion that it must equal 1, since sine x and cosine x will just fluctuate between negative 1 and positive 1 as x goes to infinity, and so, in effect, they really don't matter much. The big players here are x divided by x, and that's just going to equal 1. And if we take a glance at the graph, we can see that start to happen. As x goes to infinity, the graph begins to level out towards positive 1. Because the x terms are the parts of this limit that are really big, this is a great opportunity to use a useful limit evaluation strategy where we just divide out this biggest term. So what we're doing is multiplying the top and the bottom by 1 over x. It's like we're dividing the top and the bottom by x. So when we do that, x becomes 1 because we're dividing by x, and sine x becomes sine x over x. In the denominator, again, x becomes 1 because we're dividing the top and the bottom by x, and similarly, cosine x becomes cosine x over x. So this limit that we are looking for is equal to this. Again, all we did was multiply the top by 1 over x and the bottom by 1 over x. So it's like we're just multiplying by 1, and we don't have to worry about the division by x. We know x is non-zero because x is approaching positive infinity. And at this stage, the limit is very easy to evaluate. This is the limit as x goes to infinity, and in the numerator, we have 1 plus sine x over x. But as x goes to infinity, sine x just fluctuates between negative 1 and positive 1, and we're dividing by x, which is getting arbitrarily large. So this just goes to 0. If you haven't proven that before, it's a very easy squeeze theorem problem. So in the numerator, we have 1 plus 0. The same logic gives us 1 plus 0 in the denominator. Again, cosine x over x, you could establish that converges to 0 as x goes to infinity using the squeeze theorem, and this is equal to 1, because it's just 1 over 1 as x goes to infinity. At this point, x isn't even present in the expression. The limit is 1. So there's an easy limit with a nice strategy that you should remember. If you've got something going to infinity in the top and the bottom, you can divide by that thing in the top and the bottom, and it might help you simplify and then evaluate the limit. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.